Good morning everyone. The repower is complete. I'm very happy with it. I haven't taken it out yet, but I know I'm going to love it. Um, got the Mercury 4 stroke on there. You just saw it running. Now I've got the casting deck off of here. Um, one of the previous owners actually built this deck, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's factory. Because it comes out, goes in this area here. But without it in, man, it even it just seems roomier yet. So I'm gonna see if Brian likes. If he wants to fish on the on the casting platform, that's what we'll do. Um, also, I installed this Minkota power drive yesterday. It does have spot lock, so we're hoping uh, to use that today. I'm still gonna bring an anchor just in case we have problems figuring that out. It shouldn't be a problem though. It's all programmed. Got the remote. So I am waiting for Brian's arrival. Uh, we're going to hit uh, Wisconsin River Nakusa again today, or at least the north end of the peat. Uh, I expect a mixed bag. It could be white bass, could be walleye, it could be cats. So uh, we'll see you when Brian gets here. Okay. I didn't get any footage of that because I was concentrating, but the old new Merc got us to the spot, no problem. It was actually a nice ride. Um, fish in the north end of the river, almost to the mouth of the peep. I was marking fish in this spot. We're in about seven feet of water. Brian was, uh, was a half hour early today. Uh, what's what's your first impressions of the situation here, Brian? Well, first, I have, first and foremost, I have to say with the new motor, just wonderful ride over here. Just a, a great setup that you got going on here on the, yeah. on the new, I call it the new Scout. Right. And, uh, we'll just have to see what happens here and um, just go from there. Sounds good. If we are spot locked, the Minkota so far, the installation I think is a okay on that. I think it's freaking Brian out a little bit that spot lock. <laughs> it's just uh, uh, it's like it, a whole new boat. It's keeping us here. Look at. That's fantastic. We're locked in. We'll see how it does to that lithium battery. Hopefully, we get good use out of it. All right. I'm dead sticking a fat head, and I am also going to throw a uh, jig and plastic because I've been watching a lot of guys catch them on videos with jig and plastics. Okay, let's get a fish in the boat. Ryan's got the first fish coming. Of course, whenever I say, whenever we say we're going to move, we got a fish. You got it on the slip bobber. Yep. I got this other pole, my hopefully it's not in the way. Oh. oh, it's digging, huh? Really. Small. Small. Can you flip them? Or don't you want to? What is it? White bass. <laughs> yeah, we're keeping them. It's white bass season. I can just take a mark. Okay, you got them. Got them. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll keep them, man. When you're done there, let's show the camera. He's eating. Yeah, he's a good. I could fillet him. There you go. There you go. I know you're not looking for white bass, <laughs> but the white bass are in the river. I'll fillet him up. Nice work. Thank you. Oh, you're snagged. Yeah. Okay, right. we were talking about moving and picked up this nice white bass. And I'll take these. These I like eating these. I do need some walleyes. But uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Tasty. Now, I need walleyes because uh, I'll let you in on a little something. And you guys are probably going to think I'm crazy. But I got a little bit of a bet going with Blair from the Wild North and Netley. And it's silly, I know. He lives in Greenback Country. But we got a bet who's going to catch the biggest walleye this summer. We got till, or actually till December 31st, so whoever catches the biggest walleye this year, we're going on length only. It's a long shot. I'm sure I'll get my ass kicked. Now if Tilo was in on it, I know for sure I'd get my ass kicked. So, But it's for fun. It's for a $10 lure, and we're going to see what happens. What do you think, Brian? Do I got a chance at all? You always got a chance. Okay, thanks. Let's get some more here, boys. 
Ryan's hooked up. Nep? Uh. Dig, they dig pretty good. If it's a white bass, they do flow. What's it feel like, cat? White Sorry, bass. Must be you just hover it. Today. Striper day today. Yeah, you know, they're in the river. I knew they were in the river. Okay, thank you. He'll go in the well too. Still think we should maybe make a move though. Right? Whenever you're ready. See him before you throw him in the live well. God, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're nice stripers for sure. For sure, man. Nice work. Nice. They do fight though, aren't don't they dig? They're little diggers. Yeah, they're diggers. They're darn right. Okay. You see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, giving Brian some instructions on the camera. We're gonna move to a spot we were in our last video where we know there's fish. At least there was then. We're gonna give that a shot. We're gonna run the motor a little bit, and we'll see you there. Yeah. Yeah. It's gotta be, gotta be striper. Slip bobbers, slip bobbers are funny to set the hook, Jeez, you know. Jeez, because it, yeah. Because it's not live. You almost have to reel almost yeah. before. Get them, bro. It's gotta be a striper. I want to see what it is. <laughs> Brian's got a fish messing with him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got him? No. Clean you? He's fucking with me. <laughs> Just caught one again on the jigging, jigging wrap like I did a couple weeks ago. It's a good bait. It's not a jigging wrap though, so I think it's called a shiver minnow from Northland. Good bait. Need help? Uh, oh. I know. Oh. They get aggressive. Striper, I think. Wait a minute. Hope not. That's yeah, a striper. Yeah. Into the striper today, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the run. I knew it. It's okay. I mean, this. It's the white Thank bass. You. It's the white bass run. Yeah. Okay. I got him on a jig minnow. Were you working it or just sitting and let it sit? I was working it. It's got to be another striper. Oh. <laughs> hey, sir. Oh, he's got a little weight. Yeah, this one, this one hit pretty good. Mm hmm I'm gonna switch up. Oops, there we go. Nice job. Okay, we are we are definitely finding white bass in the white bass run right now. I knew I knew we would. I did think we would scrape some walleyes and we're a long ways from being fish, so hopefully we'll find some nice ones. But I have no problem filleting these white bass and I think I'm going to have some uh, fried white bass with my venison steak tonight. So stand by, I'm sure there's many more to come. Brian's definitely got the touch. Unbelievably creamed it. You definitely got the touch, bro. That must be a new rod. God damn. <laughs> there we are. Right out of there. There we are. Like so. Thank you. 
I sure. You got the touch, brother. Yeah, another one for the box here. Nice. Thank you. Yep. Oh, you're gonna have some pretty man. I'm gonna Ooh. get some fish. Huh? That's for sure. Gonna have to get some good fish fry material. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I got. I have to try harder. I only got a couple. Once again, it's Brian. He's off. It was small, too. Was it? It was small. Okay. I finally got back in the game. Nice little white bass. Actually, they're not very little. Brian caught a big one. Yeah, I mean, this one. This one's over 13 inches, and I bet you Brian had a 16 incher. One of yours. Don't you think? You got one on? At that point, Mike? No, that's okay. I think that's okay. It's a walleye. <laughs> I can't uh, believe it. It's wow. Like, there is a walleye in here. <laughs> I found one, Jesse. Freaking, there is a walleye in here. Time to be done. Look at that. Nice fish. Got Jesse. Jesse over there. Greenwater walleye. Bald eagle. Uh, what are you going to do? You going to bass master it? See him, bro. Oh, That's good eater. Some good eat. Nice eater. We're gonna fillet some of them up for Brian's mom. She's gonna love oh, them. Oh yeah, she's gonna love it. <laughs> no, really. I have other options. Nice see how I scooped it? I do. You got a bad, you got a bad spot there. Ranger, this is for you. Here you go, buddy. Yeah. You gonna call her? Yeah. All right, we put the old Lund on the trailer, man. It performed great. I mean, it's a it's a toss-up between this lock, uh, spot lock, and the old 40 horse here. It, they both performed flawlessly, and as did Brian. He he had the hot stick today. Talk about performing flawlessly. But we just had an awesome sandwich from some old friends of mine, the Frabonis at Frabonis Deli in Monona. If you're in the area, have a sandwich. And grab a hams too. Brian, anything you want to close with? I was going to say it was a really nice day out on the river today. Yeah, it started a little slow, but then really picked up once the sun came out and we just started really hitting them hard. It's a good day on the, on the yeah. river. Yeah, let me see. It was, it was definitely a mixed bag. Caught a ton of white bass and I'm going to clean a bunch up. I'm going to give a, a lot of them to Brian's mom. She's in the mood for some fish, a fish fries, so we're going to give her a couple fish fries for sure. 
One walleye, one drum, and one perch. Otherwise, all white bass. Yep. So, Blair, I didn't do anything today to worry you. You're probably not worried anyway. Ryan and I were just discussing how I'm going to get a giant walleye. I've got plans. But good luck to you when you get your boat out. So, uh, that's going to wrap it up here from the, the area of the peat. We put in a Chester's Creek today. To the north end of peat. Well, then we rode up to the river. Just put some miles on the boat. Breaking the motor in. It's going to be a great summer with that thing, man. Really looking forward to it. So uh, we're going to get this thing back to the cabin. I got fish to clean, and we'll see you at some point later on. Thanks for joining me, bud. You bet. Okay, guys. I've got the fish cleaned up. I've got everything put away. We're going to get storms tonight. So uh, getting ready for that. We had a very successful day on the boat today. Uh, a lot of white bass, and uh, they're pretty they're pretty tasty. So uh, I did have venison steak uh, planned for tonight with some fried potatoes and asparagus. I'm still going to do that, but I'm going to add um, some of those white bass to it. Um, I'm going to start prepping it, and when I get a little bit closer, I'll show you what I got going on. But uh, it's a beauty night, all showered, freshened up. Ready to chow down, man. Well, the evening's progressing here. The prep is coming. Cricket on WGLX is kicking ass again tonight. Best DJ in Wisconsin. Check her out. 103.3. Here's what we got going on. We've got my signature potatoes. I got them going because they take the longest. This might be a half hour cook here. Um, and if they get done quicker, I can keep this on warm. Okay, I've got some venison backstrap. And it's butterfly and nicely seasoned. Now the aluminum foil, you probably can't tell, but I've got butter in the foil and I've, I've got garlic all over that asparagus. Here's some of that white bass that Brian and I caught today. I'm going to sample that. We're going to have some surf and turf. And we've, I'm going to use some catch and cook beer batter. Blair and Tilo sent this home with me when I was up in Manitoba last time. So I'm going to try this out. I don't do a lot of beer batter, but one thing I do do is I make it super watery. If you do a thick beer batter on fish, it's going to blow up like a donut. So it's light, light coating for me. Um, I'm going to mix some of this catch and cook up. The coals are almost ready. I'm going to try to, uh, you know, get this all done, you know, orchestrate it. Get it all done at the same time. I'm confident. I think I can do it. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this meal. Big time. Surf, turf, vegetables. Honey would be proud of me. We'll keep you updated. Okay. This is the catch and cook. I don't know if it's too runny or not. But believe me, I don't want any of my fish to blow up like a donut. This may be the weakest link of my meal. I don't think so, though. I love fried fish. I'm going to make it work. Maybe I'll put just a little bit more catch and cook in. I don't know. I'm not a batter guy. Okay, here's what it looks like. I like it. Well, now Crick is playing some Tesla, which I love. It's old school Tesla. Well, probably all old school. Okay, I'm going to hit the grill next. Steaks and asparagus are on. Weber charcoal, man. It is really hard to beat that. Okay. We are underway here. Yep. Butterfly.
Okay, I just brought the steaks in. Got them wrapped in aluminum foil, and I got them on warm here with the potatoes. Asparagus is still on the grill, but then I've got everything shut off there, so... I don't know, I don't think I've ever done asparagus like that, so that's going to be a work in progress also. I'm heading to the deep fryer. Let's check this fish out. The fish is in the fryer. Okay, I think, uh... Yep, we're in. I'm going to call this a success. The weakest link was the beer batter, but I don't know if I followed the instructions that well. I didn't do any measuring, I just winged it. But I'm happy with it. I'm looking forward to trying this uh, white bass. So, here's the first half of the meal. I've got another serving here if I'm still hungry after. It was a great day. I want to thank Brian for joining me in the boat. The Lund ran great with the new power. It's just, uh, it was just a win-win today, so I'm very happy about that. Um, I hope you guys are having a great week. I'm going to have a great weekend coming up. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.